methodical thinking. We're going to pull our parentheses. Our first term, we can use y in each position. Let's make a t-bar for 56. 1 times 56 works. 2, yes, it's an even number. 2 goes into 5 twice with 1 left over. 2 goes into 16 8 times. 2 times 28 is 56. Will 3 work? This goes back to the um, divisibility of numbers. I'm going to add my digits for 56. Uh, 5 plus 6 is 11. 3 will not divide into 11 evenly. Let's pass. How about 4? Will 4 work? 4 goes into 5 one time with 1 left over. That's 16. 4 goes into 16 four times. Will 5 work? Nope, doesn't end in a, in a 0 or a 5. 6? Six, um, 6 goes into 56? No, that's not in the multiplication of the 6th line. How about 7? Seven? 7 times 8 is 56. 8? I already have it. So those are the, the values. Now I'm going to need a 1, a negative 1 in the middle. So something here has to add or subtract to 1. And it's pretty obvious that it's this one. So we have a 7 and we have an 8 because when we subtract that, we get 1. And we need a negative 1, so the 8 has to be bigger than the 7 because we're going to get a negative 1. This means 1. When you don't have a number before a letter, it means 1. So I think this is what I, I need. We're going to uh, factor it back because I want to be sure. And it doesn't take very long. y times y is y squared. y times a negative 8. 7 times y is positive 7y. And a positive times a negative is a negative 56. On any of these, you can pause the video and try it yourself before I actually teach it. Okay, we're going to get rid of our x's. Come over and make our t bar for 30. We need negative 30. So we, we could have 1 and 30. We could have 2 and 15. 3 works, that's 10. 4, no, nothing times 4 is 30. 5, mm -hmm. 5 and 6, and there we've overlapped. Stop, we're done. Okay, now we need to look through this and get a 13. 31 or 29, no. 13, if we subtract these, this gives 13 too. Hmm. Okay, so we still don't have it nailed down completely. All right, so our positive and negative signs are going to be the teller telling things on this. We need a negative with our 30 when we multiply. There's only one way we can get that. With the signs have to be different. Either order, but the signs have to be different. In subtraction, we could we we have to work now with our, uh, the signs have to be different. So if the signs are different on this one, we could have a negative two, no, we could have a, a positive two and a negative 15. That would make a neg negative uh, 13. In this one, the only way we can get to 13 is if we have two negatives on that, that'll give us 13. And we could also have two positives. But if we do that, then, we're, then we mess up the last one that has to have one of each. So the only possibility that we can have is this one, a 2 and a 15. One has to be positive, one has to be negative. Let's check this. x squared minus 15x plus 2x minus 30. Minus 30, subtract, we get a 13x. The larger numeral is negative and x squared.
This is taking a trinomial and factoring it into two binomials.